Magmar of Legend! Uh, uh, no, what the hell? How am I so lucky? Before our story can get there, we have to talk about the run starting as a wee baby fire type. Ooh, Typhlosion, gimme gimme. In this challenge run, all Pokemon, their movesets, and items found along the way are randomized. Our moveset sucks. I got a good one. In honor of Hisuian, um... Hisuian Typhlosion. The Ghost Rider. And yes, uh, on my TikTok, I have a new trailer. Um, I, I, I made three trailers. Oh, that's, that's a lot of damage. I made three trailers for TikTok, YouTube, and Twitch. They are now uploaded on all of those platforms. Whichever one you want to go watch, you can. I'm not going to gain much experience off the CDOT is a problem. Shockwave, that's a very good move. We need that. Uh, that is better than Helping Hand. Sixteen speed at level seven. That's a little slow, but not too bad. And that means at level eight, it'll have like nineteen. Ooh, Magmar as well. And this is the level six Magmar. Oh, you never see that in this grass. This has the tools it needs. It needs better moves, but what Pokemon doesn't? Level 8? Wait, what? And it has Drought? What? I've never seen level 8 on this route. It also has Shockwave. I'm catching it. Fast has a good move, has a good attack stat. I can't imagine it's worse. And it's Route 1 level 8. Like, that never happens. Jolly. Oh, the special attack stat. Oh, come on. And we have growth. Ooh, only one damaging move is a definite issue. We run into a ground type, we are screwed. But 30 special attack and drought, 30 HP, a little low on the HP, much better defense, which is good. And that's good. So we're covered on all three of our weaknesses because drought covers water and decent defense covers uh, rock and ground. The Magmar of Legend. Ooh, recipes coming in Discord. Great. Take down. I'll take it. It's a damaging move. I will take it happily. It is something to cover. So now a ghost type with Volt Absorb will still be an issue. But outside of that, I can attempt things. Um. Especially because it's takedown, I cannot keep Belly Drum. Like, it's not the move I would have wanted, but I am not going to complain given the situation I've been in. See? There we go. Golem. Like, holy crap. I would, like, if I had not learned takedown, I would have no chance against this. As is, I have a problem against this. But... Fire Blast in the sun, but I resist. Ooh. Do I Potion? Do I Stun Spore? No, it did more than 20, so Potion would be negative. So yeah, I think I'm going to Stun Spore, hope for the full para. I think is the play. Perfect. Buys me time. Now I will potion. Nice, second full para.
missed. Lizard, this golem is just all out for everything. Come on, low HP. And flame wheel? Golem, give me your moves. Like Captain Falcon, but the opposite. Show me your moves. Give me your moves. And I have to be risky, because I... If it hits me with Fire Blast, I lose. So it has to get through Paralyze and through the Accuracy check. So that's 25 and a 15, whatever that maths out to. I gotta, I gotta wait to use with a Max Potion, because I'm also damaging myself with Recoil. And Giga Drain? Golem, I'm glad I resist all of your moves. But oh no, that heals yourself? Oh heck. We make it through this golem. This will be a tale for the ages. Ooh, this max potion's all I have left. Oh, the healing. I can't. Sure wish I'd gotten a belly drum off. <laughs> or that this was Gen 5 growth. Air Blast missed. That's so good for me. What's takedown's accuracy? Also 85? Okay, fair enough. Missed it three times since I learned it. Alright. Uh, yeah, it has to never damage me again. And I need uh, a crit quickly. Fully paralyzed, that's a good way to not damage me. Takedown, but before encountering that golem, that's so amazing. It is amazing, and I did the math. There was a full paralysis, a second full paralysis, a miss with Blizzard, a third full paralysis, a miss with Fire Breast, a fourth full paralysis, and a critical hit. The odds are legendary. Great experience, though. Can I hit 19 off of this? Entei, I can hit 19 off of that. If I survive. <laughs> Don't like how many tanky things we're encountering. Speed boost Entei. But I still outsped. I think I'm gonna mark that low speed. Low speed with speed boost. I hit 19 before the rival. Let's go. Good move, good move. Aurora Beam! What? Yes! <laughs> This is the run of legends! Wait, that's perfect coverage too! Oh my god! How? 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 I don't know what that is, but it sounds exciting. Um, so I can actually show you in chat. There are only two Pokemon in the game that resist both ice and electric moves. That is Magnemite and Magnuson. There are no other Pokemon in the game that resist both of those moves. So that's what we refer to as perfect coverage. So that means that there's nothing that can do, as we say, walls me where I can't damage it effectively. Now, there can still be plenty of things that have high special defense. We've encountered a number of them already. Like, of all moves, like, wow. I cannot believe what's happening here. And it's not 69 for special attack, I'm sorry. You missed it. Onyx. We have Aurora Beam! I was scared for a moment. I was I'm tensed up against uh ground types from only having only having Shockwave. And hey, Onyx and Brock's gym! <laughs> 
Here's... All right, Brock, give me something that I can growth up on, please. Probably put the battle hat on. Um, which hat do we want? Do we want Noodle? Do we want Pikachu? Or do we want Bulbasaur for, for Brock? Which hat? First person in chat to say something gets the hat. Waiting for the stream delay. Pikachu! All right. Abra, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Nice low BST Pokemon. Won't have stabbed super effective. Gross. It's using Protect when I use Growth. Oh, that's wonderful. Pikachu to Masked Pikachu. Second Protect, second Growth. Third Protect, third Growth. We're just going all the way. Shelder. <laughs> Rock has had all babies so far, has been very nice as well. Oh, there it is! The Volt Absorb of Legend! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, we survived. We survived, but this is gonna be a problem. It resists this. I'm at massively boosted though, so... Maybe we're fine? Right, he has one Pokemon left. Jinx has Volt Absorb. Pinsir, okay, we fought this thing before. High special defense. Ish, high ish special defense. Um, Aurora Beam is slightly more damage. We'll go with that. I'm also boosted to heck, which I wasn't last time we fought it but it's more equal level. Okay, we got there, we beat Brock. Oh my God. <laughs> Tara, look at our Pokemon. TM39, is this a TM of legend? Camouflage. Not the TM of legend I was hoping for, Brock. <gasps> Seriously, I'm learning Ice Beam. Oh my god! That's so good! Holy crap, I forgot I was even coming up on my level up move! What a legend! What a legend! And I have a PP Max to just rip on it? Yes, growth is growth is going to be a, a very important for like uh the the like Koga and Gym Leaders past that. Growth will be crucial to be able to just breeze through those. No, growth is amazing. This does hurt my basic filthy casual brain of only attacking moves, but luckily I'm not the one doing the strategy. All attack. Golem. The Golem of Legend has come back for revenge. This time we are slightly better prepared. I hope. This time we were slightly better prepared. Woo. There we go, that is Misty down. Thank you for leading with Surskit, Misty, Misty. I really appreciated that. My favorite TM, TM03. Name's Twister. Ooh. First, can I learn it? I can learn it. Okay. All right, I think according to this map, 
about 70 steps. You get po you get hit by poison every four steps, so I'm fine. Assuming that I one shot this shroomish and that I was right, there's not another Pokemon behind it, and I just make it out. Thankfully, this trainer is right at the entrance to the boat, is where I happen to be right now. Okay. 24 HP. You need to walk slowly. Oh, I took another secret tick of poison that I didn't see. That's annoying. Forced one on me when I exited the boat. I think we're fine. Well, I got some free wood, free distance out of that. Good. Okay, it's every five steps you get poisoned. We should be fine. I was close. We did a half clear of boat, which is okay. And now we have a, um... We have a Hyper Potion now. Whew. That was scary and I did not like it. All right, what else can I do now that I have access to cuts? Ooh, a second PP Max! Oh, that's good stuff. Things you love to see, it, and a rare candy, whoa! And a max ether? Holy crap, that was a good 60 seconds. Let's go. Max potion, let's go! Oh, that's so good. Ha, I'm not, what the hell? How am I so lucky? That's the third PP Max I've gotten this run. What? Mewtwo, okay. Dang, it has extra sensory too? That's really bad. That's a problem. It'll keep one of those for a very long time. Mewtwo, not a friend of the stream. Team Rocket just giving out Mewtwo to everyone. Oh my God. Another PP up, holy crap. And a full restore! Giovanni, you are a friend of the stream. Unlike Mewtwo. Man, what the hell do you want? God, jo oh fuck. Here we go. Here's the Shedinja. We have nothing for this. Our first time seeing one. Let's hope, uh, hope that it KOs itself. It's got decent special attack, too. It's a problem. It's a question of, can I run it down to struggle? I have lots of healing, so we could be here for a while. Might be able to stall it out. And I'm just hoping that it knows Sandstorm or a recoil move or something. I can use some of my smaller heals, I guess, actually. Let's do that. I appreciate the tracker tracks their PP usage, so I don't need to count it. 
Paper beam? Uh-oh. Okay, that's physical, though. Okay. So now a crit thunderbolt would kill me. I guess I'll use my other 50 heal. It might use all of my resources, but I might be able to beat this thing. My thunderbolt did, what, 25 damage? So a crit would kill me. I'm now going to use, I think, my first energy root. There's eight thunderbolts left, so that's one more healing item of mine. I'm super curious what its last move is. Hi, YouTube! <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe! Alright, we are now in critical hit range, so I will have to use another heal. Alright, there's a chance I might be able to get through this. I'm just... This is just like the scariest sit and stall forever. Okay, that's its last Thunderbolt. It's 14 Fury Cutters and one unknown move. So Fury Cutter, for those who don't know, its base power is 10. Each subsequent time you hit with it in a row, consecutively, it doubles its power. So 10, 20, 40, 80, 160. Clearly the AI has some reason that it's not using that last move. Uh, it could be that it's a healing move. Like if, if it's milk drink, the shit is at maximum HP, so they would never use it then. Is one, uh, one possibility? <laughs> I healed 169 HP. Nice. All right. What is your last move, Shedinja? Was I right? Was it a healing move? Dream Eater. I'm not asleep, so there's no reason for it to ever use that. All right. <clears throat> we have made it through a Shedinja. It cost us fully half of our... Hey, I still have three heals left. That's good. That's something. Higher level Shedinja would be a problem. And Shedinja's hit with recoil. There it goes. So Shedinja has one HP. Struggle. Actually, will the tracker tell us? Struggle hits as neutral damage as a 50 power physical move, and the user receives recoil damage equal to one quarter of the damage dealt. Shedinja has one HP, so any damage is lethal. It cost me a lot of resources to thrive that Shedinja, but I still have a bunch of resources, so that's good. Like, that was terrifying, but we made it through, and... I hope one of the gym leaders gives us a TM that we don't need to do that ever again. <laughs> Kyogre, that sounds about right. Double team, but I'm using Shockwave, which can't miss! And I'm at plus six special attack, so... This thing survives somehow, that would be astonishing. That was fun. Let's never do that again. <laughs> Whew. That was dramatic. The boringest drama you've ever seen. <laughs> Honestly, the rest of the run was fairly simple. We are past the easy part of the game. Now it is the challenge, although there is going to be one more section of long grinding. But... I didn't really encounter any interesting moments or problems until Gent Marshall. Oh, God damn it. All right, Shedinja. Round two. Let's go. Bring it on. Please have forgotten Thunderbolt and learned. Uh, okay, but Flail is always at max. 
HP, so that's good. Four damage, okay. Do I have any X defend kind of things? Um, a guard spec. Fire hit, white herb. No. Still has Thunderbolt, that's bad. I have the small heal of the energy powder. Is there anything that can prevent me taking damage? I don't think so. Yep, I think we just PP saw. Uh, Hyperbeam has confirmed its fourth move, so it lost, um, lost Dream Eater, that's bad. That's the, the least one that I wanted to see it lose. Appropriate that it's in Koga's gym, though. Alright, my HP is low enough that a crit could be lethal soon. Right, so 60, I think, is going to be the threshold I'll use. Alright, I will risk. Right, 60 is now the threshold. Let's energy powder. Alright, that's below my threshold. Do I need to... I think I need to be riskier than that. Yeah, I think I need to take one more. Yep. Okay. Now I have to. Seven Thunderbolts. I think I can barely do it with the resources I have. It'll be super close. Right. Ooh, that was a crit. That's bad. Um, now I'm done using my own power points, so now I'm going to use Pokeballs. I don't have enough healing to be greedy. Okay, now I have to use it. This is my last healing, right? Alright, this is all I got. They still have uh, five Thunderbolts left. Oh, it's gonna be close. Because they also have uh, Fury Cutters. And then I have no healing for the rest of the gym. Oh, it's trying to put me down into Thunderbolt range. Oh, uh, it knows. It smells blood in the water. Oh no. It knows. Maybe if I change the type of Pokeball I use, I get better luck. That resets the um, the Fury Cutter timer. Darn, I got paralyzed again. That resets the Fury Cutter timer. I'm going to heal the paralysis right here. Um, because if we make it through... I think we do. Oh, why did that do so much? You switched to Thunderbolt from Fury Cutter. It's supposed to reset the damage. Why didn't it reset the damage? No. Maybe now Shockwave will hit. And there we go. We died to Shedinja. Boo! Logs! We get to detect the logs! Um, okay, so we need Magmar. Charmeleon would evolve into Magmar. We. Chat! Chat, do you see what I'm seeing? Do you see what I'm seeing? Our special attack stat, chat was 169. Nice. All right, we need to know what the TMs were. Um, TM 3, TM 38, would have been String Shot. That's not Shedinja coverage. And then 26. Oh, my eyes were going up the list here, and I saw Faint Attack and got really excited, but then it was Swift. So we were never going to learn a fire move. So maybe the Magmar of Legend, its legend ends here.